Welcome to GCRD Technologies. Essential skills for software testers. Uh, if you want bright future in software testing area, some skills are important. First, manual testing knowledge. Say, it is core knowledge for software testers. Say, if you want to shift to uh, that uh, automated testing, functional test automation, or performance test automation, or mobile test automation, any area, manual testing knowledge is mandatory for every stream. Why? See, in manual testing, you can get uh, process knowledge, terminology, documentation, etc. things. <clears throat> In this manual testing area, important topics are first, software development life cycle. Actually, it is software developers concern, but software testing is part of ESDLC, software development life cycle. So, testers also need to familiar with software development life cycle. Next, software development life cycle models. Sequential models like waterfall model, V model. Next, incremental and iterative models, advanced, agile model, etc. Next, software tester levels, knowledge on tester levels. Uh, uh, we independent testers conduct testing at uh, system testing level, but we need to familiar with uh, all levels of testing, at least knowledge, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. User acceptance testing is subset of acceptance testing. Next, software tester types, functional testing, non-functional testing, etc. See, performance testing, usability testing, all are subsets of non-functional testing next <clears throat> software test design techniques black box test design techniques our area uh, in this black box test design techniques equivalent classes boundary value analysis decision table testing use case testing state transition testing etc next white box testing <clears throat> it is a developer's activity Next to experience based te testing. Yes, experience based techniques, exploratory testing and error guessing, etc. Uh, the, uh, these experience based techniques required for uh, independent testers. Why? Sometimes we need to conduct informal testing uh, without a docu uh, lack of documentation or lack of time, lack of. Uh, scope of the project, uh, we need to conduct uh, experience-based testing. That time, uh, in order to conduct informal testing, you need to familiar with experience-based te uh, techniques uh, called uh, experience-based techniques like exploratory testing, error guessing, etc. Okay. Next, so, uh, important one, heart of manual testing. Part of software testing also, software development life cycle or software, sorry, software testing life cycle or you can say software testing process. In this software testing process, you need to familiar with test planning, test design, test execution, uh, before test execution, test environment setup. Next, test execution, test closure. Next, come to automated testing. See, nowadays, uh, automated testing is uh, trending area. Uh, with the manual testing only, we may not get a job. We may not get a bright career in this uh, software testing. So, automated testing is important nowadays. See, software testing can be done in two ways. One is traditional manual testing, another is automated testing. So nowadays, most of the companies are preferring to automate 
soft automate that software testing process. So you need to familiar with automated testing. See, we have several types of automated testing. Functional test automation using UFTR, Selenium, or RFTR, etc. tools. Next, performance automation using JMeter or Load Runner. See, in this area, automated testing area, API testing is there. Web services are API. Uh, API is superior. All web services are APIs, but all APIs are not web services. Say in this area, functional automation is uh, is having highest market share, nearly seventy percent. So you learn or improve your skills in functional test automation using either Selenium or UFT. Uh, if you uh, if you want to learn performance testing using load runner or JMeter, that is also good. But limited opportunities, competition also less. Next, mobile test automation using RPM, etc. Or API testing uh, using SOAP UI Postman like tools. Okay. Next, operating system knowledge. Say, <clears throat> As a test engineer, you need to operating the system first. Then you can launch your application and verify the functionality of functionalities of the application, performance of the application, usability of the application, etc. First, you need to familiar with computer operating. We have uh, two important uh, families of operating systems. One is Microsoft Windows. I think all of you familiar with Microsoft Windows. It is user friendly and uh, uh, 70 to 80 percent market share. Having 70 to 80 percent market share. Next, apart from MS Windows operating knowledge, uh, learn unix unix is having <coughs> less market share but some security applications on unix and unix flavors like linux solaris environments if you learn line uh, unix environment unix operating knowledge then uh, you will have uh, more opportunities Next, documentation knowledge. See, as a test engineer, you need to work with some documents. See, if it is automated testing, uh, we write our test cases in tool editor. We report our defects in a tool. Anyhow, documentation is there. If it is manual testing, uh, more uh, familiarity with the documentation. So familiar with EMS Word documentation, Excel documentation, and PowerPoint presentation, etc. Next, database knowledge. Say <clears throat> whether it is manual testing or automated testing, if you want to conduct back-end testing, this database test, this database knowledge is important. <coughs> Instead of writing SQL, SQL knowledge, why I am writing database knowledge. Nowadays, uh, not only SQL databases, SQL, plus no SQL also there, not only SQL. SQL plus no SQL equals to big data. So familiar with relational database testing and non-relational database testing no sql database testing suppose if your database is having a tabular format then you can use sql commands suppose in your database uh, uh, unstructured data semi-structured data suppose messages files images audio files, video files, etc., graphs, graphics, etc. 
unstructured data, then you need to follow NoSQL. So familiar with database knowledge. Next, programming knowledge. Say, for manual testing, programming knowledge is not required. In manual testing, thinking, reasoning, documentation. But analytical skills, you know. But here in, uh, here in automated testing, programming knowledge is required. Uh, especially for functional automation, if you use Selenium or EFT or RFT like tools, programming knowledge is required. Familiar with either Java or Python languages. Next, web environment knowledge. <clears throat> Technical skills required for software testers. Suppose our application developed using <clears throat> Java technology, backend database, Oracle, suppose uh, web server, some Apache, uh, application server, web logic, etc. See, you need to familiar with uh, environment knowledge, software environment knowledge, development environment knowledge. If you want to conduct web testing, you need to familiar with uh, web environment. Uh, nowadays, nearly 80% applications are web applications. See, familiar with uh, web environment. What is HTML? What is uh, what are web elements? Web elements are HTML elements. What are the actions on web elements? Next, what is VB script? What is JavaScript? Means kinds uh, client side scripting. What is web server? Uh, example IIS. What is application server? Example web logic, web sphere, IIS. Sorry, not IIS. Complex, JBoss, etc. Next, database servers. Uh, SQL Server, MS SQL Server, Oracle, uh, Sybase, MySQL, etc. So familiar with web environment. Next, domain knowledge. See, this domain knowledge is required for experienced people. Generally, companies provide uh, domain knowledge for your projects. Uh, domain means an area uh, for which a software application being developed software application business area suppose banking application insurance application e-commerce application healthcare application etc suppose if you want to test banking application you need to familiar with banking knowledge banking operations uh, what is account what is savings account what is current account what is deposit what is loan uh, like banking knowledge suppose if you want to test insurance application you need to familiar with the insurance, insurance business operations like uh, what is policy, uh, what is premium, what is maturity, what is claim, etc.